we've made huge progress in our pursuit of predicting sunny skies and severe storms for over 170 years. Beginning in 1854, when Captain Robert Fitzroy founded the Meteorological Department, laying the groundwork for a legacy of innovation and public service. With the advent of public broadcasts, weather forecasts have been beaming into our homes since 1922. Helping us all make better decisions. Our forecasts have helped win wars. From our first operational military forecast supporting the Royal Flying Corps in 1916, to one of the most important forecasts in history to aid the D-Day landings in 1944. Today, our Mobile Met unit continue to support our armed forces across the globe. We're playing a vital role in aviation, serving as one of two World Area Forecast Centres since 1984 and one of nine volcanic ash advisory centres globally. Helping us to stay safe in the skies all over the world, as well as collaborating with the Civil Aviation Authority and Air Traffic Control Services in the UK. The dawn of the computer age made the groundbreaking work of Lewis Fry Richardson on numerical based predictions decades prior possible. Supercomputers and satellites have enabled ever more accurate weather and climate forecasting, leading to the Unified Model in 1991. When we opened the Met Office Hadley Centre for Climate Science and Services, we established a world-renowned, dedicated centre for pioneering research of the Earth's climate, providing vital advice to UK and world governments. Working with the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, we are helping shape global policy on tackling climate change. We employ more than 540 scientists and have had papers cited over half a million times. As technology progresses, so have we, launching our first website in 1995, social media channel in 2007, and mobile weather app soon after. Our partnerships with organisations in the UK and overseas have continued to advance weather and climate science and services for people around the world. From working with the Environment Agency establishing the Flood Forecasting Centre in 2009 to international knowledge sharing through exchange visits and opening our Space Weather Operations Centre in 2014. Today we continue to be a force for good using our expertise to protect lives, livelihoods and our planet. Together we strive to evolve, innovate and push the boundaries of what's possible so we can meet the demands of today and the future. After 170 years, this is the Met Office. This is who we are. This is world-changing work. And we stand ready to face the challenges of tomorrow.